I lost my family three years ago. If it wasn't an accident, there was a bomb on that plane. I need your help to find the ones who did this. I've got nothing to lose. What about your life? What about it? I'm going to say this once. Even if you succeed, it won't be worth it. Bombmaker is free. He's walking the streets. You promised me you won't do nothing silly. Here. Draw for your closure. And how would you do that? Violently. Aloha! This is Trinidad, the island man, your island man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And uh, last night, opening night of... Blake Lively's latest movie, The Rhythm Section, I went ahead and I saw over at the Windward Mall. And, uh, well, remember our rating scale? Shock a thumbs up. It's good to see. I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down. It's junk. It's bad to see. I don't recommend it. And for The Rhythm Section, starring Blake Lively, Jude Law, and Sterling K. Brown, it is a shock a thumbs down. <sighs> you know, I had high hopes for this movie uh, when I saw the trailer. I envisioned it to be, uh, you know, type of uh, Anna-like movie from last year. Uh, maybe even a La Femme Nikita. Possibly, you know, an action spy kind of uh, thriller undercover uh, movie like, uh, you know, the upcoming Black Widow. And I could see, you know, maybe Ryan Reynolds, uh, Blake Lively's husband, pushing her towards this role, saying that, hey, hey, do really well in this, and maybe there's a role for you in Marvel or in Deadpool coming up as, you know, a spy-like, Black Widow-like character. Um, you know, I have no confirmation of this, of course, but, you know, uh, stranger things have happened. And, uh, well, <laughs> unfortunately, um, you know, this movie is not worth seeing. Uh, I would say even skip it on Netflix or iTunes when it comes out streaming. Um, what you think is going to be a clever, like I said, action movie reminiscent of those other ones I just mentioned, uh, really turns out to be a dragging, slow, plotting movie uh, about a woman whose family, um, you know, she's the daughter of a family that was killed in a terrorist bombing of an airplane uh, after takeoff uh, in England. And uh, she seeks revenge on, you know, the person who blew up the plane. Uh, initially, that is the bomber who made the bomb, uh, but she goes as far as trying to go after uh, the person you know, overall responsible, who put the plan into motion. Um, and right off the bat, um, you know, like I say, it starts off plotting. Uh, we find her, um, you know, sometime after the events of her, her parents and her family's death. Uh, she is distraught. Her life is in ruins and tatters, a former... Oxford, you know, student, reduced to, you know, living on the streets, essentially. Um, and it's not a pretty sight. Uh, then she has the opportunity that comes up where she finds some information about, you know, uh, the bomber through a investigative journalist. Uh, this investigative journalist says he was working with somebody in the know, he doesn't exactly say who it is, uh, just a letter B. And that would be Jude Law's character, who we find out is a former MI6 uh, intelligence, uh, possibly field agent, more or less, most likely field agent as well, um, who had the opportunity to stop 
uh, this bomber uh, from blowing up the plane, but failed. Uh, Blake Lively's character shows up, demands to be trained to take him out, and begrudgingly Jude Law does so. Uh, let me just say, Jude Law is fabulous in this, and Blake Lively really comes alive and shines in this movie when she is playing opposite the fantastic Jude Law. And you get flashes of, you know, in the training scenario and montage uh, that we see. Um, we get flashes of remembrance back to maybe Captain Marvel, where he's teaching Laura Danvers, uh, you know, the ins and outs of things, you know, giving her hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, all of that is, again, in this movie. And Jude Law shines exceptionally in this movie. Uh, who doesn't shine is a CIA information uh, officer, well, former officer, uh, gone rogue, uh, selling to the highest bidder, which is Sterling K. Brown's, uh, you know, character. Usually he is on top of his game in all his movies. Unfortunately, in this one, he's just stagnated with the character that he has to play. Um, you know, and even Blake Lively struggles. And it's even in the story that she struggles because she has such a blundering uh, result of her first two missions. She could have easily been killed if not for just plain dumb luck, how she barely survives and how the targets you know, I can't say she takes them out, but but they die <laughs> just because of their own stupidity. Uh, no, you know, she didn't even have to be there and they would have died, essentially. Uh, that's how crazy it is and how ineffectual she is. But somehow she manages to make it through the entire movie, spoiler, alive. <laughs> um, it looks like they want to try to maybe set up a sequel for this movie, but if they do, I wouldn't go see it. I wouldn't go see this one again. And like I said, not even on streaming. It is a strong shock of thumbs down. Uh, really surprising from Blake Lively, from her past performances, what we've seen uh, her capable of. Even in that shark movie, she was great. Um, but in this, oh... Thank goodness this isn't her first movie, or it might have been her last movie. Uh, but again, the only shining beacon in this is Jude Law and Blake Lively when he when she is acting against him. Uh, she, you know, he is able to elevate her to his level, and he has a lot of fun in this role. If there is ever a spin-off in this movie, we would like it to probably be just Jude Law's character where he, you know, even as a, you know, middle-aged man is still doing fantastic and maybe even gotten a little bit more sexier uh, nowadays. But, you know, I'll let you determine that to be sure. All right, thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, giving the rhythm section, despite a great idea and a, and a cool concept, you know, along the lines of what has worked before, fails again, shock a thumbs down. Don't waste your money or time on this movie. All right. Thank you so much. It's Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man here in Hawaii saying mahalo, thank you, and aloha.